Hi, I'm Carla, and I'm here with Ms. Cracker of RuPaul's Drag Race, and today we're going to cook a dish together, and we're going to see if Ms. Cracker can follow along through verbal instructions only. Okay. Have you ever made ravioli before? I have never made ravioli. I've never made pasta before, and what? I've always wanted to know how Even it works. Even boiled pasta. Oh, definitely like, you know, Trader Joe's. Okay. So on a scale of 1 to 10, give me an idea of you as a cook. Okay. I say, why be a nine when you can be a 10? I'm with you. I'm a 10. So we're both 11s. Yes, yeah. great. We've got 20 minutes on the clock. Me and you. OK. Ready? I'm ready. Let's do it. OK. So you've got a bowl of flour. Dump it onto your station. Dump it onto my station? Dump it on. Make like a nice mound of flour. OK. OK. And then what you want to do is kind of spread that flour around and kind of just work in circles, pushing that dough out. So it's like a giant. Very shallow volcano. Okay, she's making a well in the ingredients. Exactly. Okay. Oh, you are a 10. Hello, somebody. Okay, good. Joy of cooking. So now we're gonna crack crack the eggs like right into the well, both of those eggs. Just use your fork to, to break it up a little bit, but you don't have to go crazy. Like, we're not making scrambled eggs, but just to loosen, loosen the eggs up a bit, break right. the and, yolks. And everything's staying in the well still. Everything's in the well, and then, yeah, exactly. So be careful, now we have a sharp pointed object, so you just don't want to bust through the wall. Never. Never. So, uh, pour the oil in, which is in one of those little mini measuring cups. Okay. Whisking, whisking. Okay. And then the water, it's just water. All right. <laughs> Do we have a breach? No. Tell me what's going on. Okay, we had a small breach. Okay. But I put my finger in the dike. Okay, great. <laughs> and then just nudge a little bit of flour as you go. To so the, the way I do it is I just So like, I'm nudging flour in, t in towards the center? Exactly. So, so I'm like slowly combining. Yeah, so if you're dragging your fork almost like it's the seconds hand, you know, moving around the clock. Right. And as you drag around the oh, edge. What? I'm doing it. What about these lumps? Uh, don't worry about those lumps. What's your um, sign? I'm a Leo. Oh, work. What okay. are you? I'm an Aries. Okay, my husband's an Aries. So he's, are you one of the stubborn kind? <laughs> <laughs> no. No? Yeah. So yeah. I've gotten to a place where I feel like this thing is like, have you ever watched any of those slime videos? Right, I'm at Jabba the Hutt right now. Okay, same. So if you feel like you can work the rest of that flour in with your hands without it. The rest of it. The re yeah, that's all going in. Now, do you want me to knead it in, fold it in? Kind of gently knead it in, and if at any time you feel like, woo, it just got really dry all of a sudden, just back off, work it in a little bit before you add more dry. So I do have like a nice bouncy <laughs> semi, it's got a coating of flour on the outside. Same. But, but the dough feels soft and it feels like it's gonna be dough. And then if you have a bunch of dry bits. Stuck to the table? Just just shove them to the side. Oh, that's not what I was going to do like, with that. It's just not going to happen for them. So now we're just going to knead, and any dry bits that you still, do you have any dry bits left on the uh, surface? No, I, I don't want to include these. Okay. They look like something from an infomercial about foot skin. <laughs> I, you know, I was looking for the perfect description, and, yeah. I'm, and, the, and that's it. Okay, All so right. now you have a piece of plastic wrap. So just plop that guy down. Bam! Wrap him up. And okay. kind of press them into a disc. Okay, um, wrap or them up. Wrap them in the plastic wrap. Okay, I'm just like rolling them like a burrito. Okay, sounds good. And then kind of, if you could get it into a round disc, like a hamburger patty. Yeah, like a paperback book kind of. That's not round. Like a really thick pancake. Got it. And then it's gonna hang out so the gluten can relax. It feels like a little cat's belly. Yeah, exactly. Oh, cat's belly. We're gonna make the ravioli filling. Okay. So we have egg, parm, salt and pepper. Okay. And you can just dump everything into the bowl with the ricotta. Dump everything into the bowl with the ricotta? Everything into the bowl with the ricotta. Okay. Pepper, salt, the okay. parm, the ricotta. Okay. I guess we could whisk whatever tool like feels good to you, but we want to get just everything mixed in together. Okay, so now have you used one of these um, thin little cheese graters called the microplane? Before. I, this one, this uh, for Parmesan? It looks like a, it is, a, it are looks we gonna, like a wood Are we gonna zest tool. this lemon? We're gonna zest the whole lemon. The so whole lemon? The whole thing. Just be careful of your nail, your fingers. I've grated many, many a hand knuckle oh, into yeah. my ricotta. We don't want to petty egg my hand. I like to hold the part of the grater over the bowl mm. so that when I zest the lemon, it falls right in. Oh. But some people are more comfortable to hold it 
above. Above, and then kind of shave. Yeah, because I can now I can see and how much. And you can much. see what's going on. That's actually the Martha Stewart way. Oh, it's a good thing. I know it is a good thing. It's a mitzvah if Martha Stewart. And then Stewart you can also. Jewish. She liked it always because then you could measure um, the zest that was on the top of the. Right. Oh, grater. I'm into this. I don't want it to be pithed. One off. way or the other, though, this whole lemon's getting zested. But now stir in all of that lemon zest. Bam. Seems like a lot. Oh no! You can never but have too much citrus. Now we can call citrus. these lemon ricotta ravioli. Um, right I don't know how you feel about raw eggs, so you don't have to do this. But you could taste the filling. <laughs> I'm like. As you said that, my finger's already on my tongue. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm a processed cooker, so mm -hmm. yeah, Taste it tastes great. Go. She might need a touch more salt. Yeah, that's what I did. Okay, are you putting a pinch? I put a pinch. I'm like, I went from comedy queen to drama now. I'm like so serious <laughs> about this food. Here I am. Now this just goes off to the side. Mm -hmm. It's gonna get dolloped later, so just get your whole, do like get situated for dolloping. I'm ready, I'm always ready for a dollop. Save your lemon, and then we're gonna go back to our dough, okay? okay? So just to start, sprinkle a little flour on your board, just just a, a light, non -stick surface. a dusting. Yeah. And it's nice because actually you don't even have to flour the dough, you kind of just like drag it across the board. Okay. And then okay. with your knife, eyeball it and just cut that dough in half. And now, just using your fingers, just kind of coax it into like a rectangle that's maybe four inches by five inches. Four inches by five inches. Okay, Roughly. it's like a standard. Like palm, well, I have small print hands, photograph. but like yeah. palm size. Yeah, Bam. like a photograph. So just um, with your right hand, hold the dough straight up and down so it makes contact with the gears. Yep. And then start to roll the gear and it'll just roll through. It's, it goes right through. Okay. okay. So now you have this like long. Yeah, I, I'm like. Where'd your dough go? It's like going straight down. So. Straight down. Okay, so then take your left hand and just. Gently... So I can just let him sit there and. No, you got to pull him, pull him onto your board as it's go as the, as it's rolling through. Yeah. So now it's all on your cutting board. Bam. Great. Now we're gonna fold like a letter. So the left side comes in to, by to about like by a third. The third. Yep. And then you roll fold the other one over. Okay. And then use your fingertips, work from one of the open ends closest to you. Kind of just use your finger fingertips. Mm -hmm. And you want to just press and move your fingers away from you. And we're just making sure now that the dough is sticking together. Is stuck together. And you should press firmly. So same thing. Okay. Hold it above the rollers. All right, here we crank go. Crank the rollers. Bam. And then as it comes through the bottom. She's a little fat. She's a little chubs? Yeah. Okay. That's fine. Then just kind of... Um, Every ravioli is beautiful. <laughs> and then just drag it onto the board. She's a little over a, uh, a hand long. Oh, is it coming halfway across the length of the board or three quarters or like where are a third. you? A third. Yeah, it's not getting longer. Should okay, so dry are you on zero? Yeah. Okay, so let's go through. You're going to go through the roller one more time and I'm not. Just kind of like, you know, Pull it. Cup it gently and and pull it onto the board. I feel like uh, there's laughter going on. Offset. I feel like it's just a good way to describe it. And okay, now, now she's longer. I feel more comfortable with her. Just, okay, like, let's fold. Let's do the folding in thirds again. Okay. And I'm using my fingertips again to kind of make sure that all those layers are getting to know each other. <laughs> okay, so again, holding it, it straight up and down like a curtain. With my left hand. With your left hand and turning the cranker with your right. Whoop. And through she goes, this, and yeah. then pull it onto the board. Yeah, now I'm liking it more. Love it. Okay, so now we're gonna turn the cranker to number one. Same motion. How do I keep her from like stretching out? That's okay. So you do, you just don't want the part that is flopped over the top to stick on something. And pull. Exactly. All right, lovely. So now, if you are you through? Um, yep. Yeah? Yep. So let's go again. On one still? Uh, no, crank up to two. <laughs> and going through again. Cranking, right hand. I'm just a kitchen natural. Right? I really feel like you are. Cuisine queen. When you're ready, let's take it up to three. Cuisine. All right, I'm, I'm through. Okay. That's called a board. And if it gets too, if you start to feel like it's too unwieldy, we can cut it in half. And mine is folding over itself quite a number of times as it goes through the bottom. Right, okay. Wow, now mine is like as long as my cutting board. Okay, tell me when you're ready to go to four. Yeah. We're going all the way to... I'm like emotionally ready, but... 
Okay, now we're getting to like the length of the board. Okay, if you can still manage it, just make sure that one half is going over the back of your hand and the back of the machine and one half is going through. Okay, um, this is the last time, right? Uh, no, a couple right. more. I we gotta care. go to translucence. I feel she's so delicate, I don't wanna I know, but she's her. not delicate. She's really stretchy. She has so much elasticity. The she's same. still pretty thick. All right, are you on season five of your roller? I've st I just finished season four. Okay. All right, I'm going to five. Go to five. She's like super long now, that's okay, right? I know, right? we might have to cut in half. Mine's long too. I think I, I, think I wanna cut it in half because I'm worried about. That's fine, cut in half. Okay, here we go. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm now You're seeing how on five. she looks weak, but she's strong. Right, she's got that, we made that gluten happen. She's strong enough. <laughs> oh, that's the gluten. That's the gluten. What a wonderful thing. I'm so sad that some people are allergic to it. I'm starting to be able to see my hand, so maybe we don't. We go to six. I'm rolling through. You are? Season five. Oh, season five, okay. I rushed her. I apologize, little <laughs> pasta. Okay. Six. Six. Just yapping away. I know, All right. I like it. That's what the Nonas did. That's what the who? The Nona, like the Italian grand ladies. They were oh, yeah. They are making dough all day. Oh, is talking. that like Italian for Yenta? Uh, pretty much, okay. yeah. Okay. Oh, bubula. Oh, bubula. I mean, the Jews and the Italians, as far as I'm concerned. Except oh, for no, a I brief busted a hole in my lady. couple of decades. When you're running it through and you have your hand underneath the dough as it comes out, can you see your fingers? Like, is it thin enough to be translucent? Mm-hmm. It is. Yeah, I mean, I can definitely see, like, I can see the dough through the dough, if that makes sense. You can see the dough. Can you see your hand through the I can the see dough? the color of my hand. She's translucent. Lovely. Get yourself a board length of dough. Does that make sense? Okay. So the dough stretches from one long side to the other. Let I'm going to go ahead and cut mine to the length of the board. And while you're doing that, I'm going to repair a hole. Excuse me? I, have <laughs> I tore a hole in my dough. Oh. Maybe with one of my rings. Okay. Is this a... Uh, Wedding ring? No, I don't know. It could have been the pasta machine. Bizarrely personal. It would have been awkward if you just like broke down crying. <laughs> At this point, like. I was married. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Until this morning. Okay, so now I have two pieces that yeah. are running parallel to one another. Yes. That's okay, fine. should I cut off the excess or just leave it? You could you could cut it off at the edge where it's <coughs> hanging over the side of the um, cutting board. Woo! Mine, I cut it. And then it shrunk back in because of the gluten. Like the witch's foot in Wizard of Oz. It's like, yeah! Okay, now, <laughs> do I get to munch some of this dough? I want to taste it. You can. You could try it. It has raw egg, but that never bothered me. All right, so you have a bowl of ricotta. Mm. Oh, it tastes like pasta. Okay. There you go. You should have a tablespoon measure on your cutting board or somewhere nearby. I've got it. Got it. Dollop. So scoop out a heaping tablespoon of ricotta. Got it. Just put kind it. of two inches in from the edge of the dough, right in the middle between the top and the bottom. Just bam, bam. She okay. Did it. And now, kind of eyeball, you want to put your next blob of ricotta about four inches away. Are you okay. going dollop number three? Where I'm are you? I'm doing dollop number three. She's a little, she's a little uh, a runt. I'm gonna <laughs> add a little more to her. And I got five out of the length of dough that I had. I feel comfortable with four. Okay, great. All right, so just use your fingertip and draw a little circle of water around each ricotta mound. Yeah, to kind and of give that. if you get a little bit of cheese on your finger, that's fine. That's fine, which that's I fine. totally did. Magic circle. <laughs> We're in the circle of trust. Okay, now can I do it? Yes. Okay, I'm ready, she's a cook. <laughs> it's time for dinner! All right, are you using your fingertips now finger on the tips. top? So you wanna press from like, closest to the ricotta and then working your way to the edge just to make sure there's no air bubbles and <laughs> pressing. No air bubbles. But this is where I kind of get some wrinkles and that's okay. My ravioli looks, I'm not gonna say that it looks like uh, Cher's child from the mask, <laughs> but I'm not gonna say it doesn't look like that. Okay, do you see your little um, fluted wooden handheld cutter on uh -huh. your station? Yeah. So the first thing that I want you to do is to use that to zip the length of it, like just just square off one long side. I don't know. And just get rid of like where the dough might be overlapping each other. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Where there's excess. <laughs> where there's excess. Woo! Just trim that right off, but don't go too close. I'm not. To the mountains. Take your cutter now to cut to the left and the, to the right, kind of equidistant. Equidistant, okay. In between the mounds. Oh my God, we made ravioli. 
I'm really proud of us. I am too. We went out on a limb for and with each other. Some of mine are large. Some of mine are small. Some of mine have air holes. Some okay. of mine have bubbles. Now we get to cook it. Woo! Okay, shablam. And then if you have any flour left on your board, just slide your ravioli over to the flour just so they don't stick to your board. I cut mine really close to the That's okay. quick. Farewell. Do you have four ravioli? I have cats, I have four. Amazing. Okay, Cracker. You have your ravioli on your board. You should have one hot skillet. You should <laughs> have I a do. skillet with boiling water. And I do. We're gonna cook the ravioli for three minutes, okay? Just gently pick them up like little babies. They are my babies. <laughs> Just slide them in. <laughs> We're gonna boil the babies. Are they gonna scream like lobsters? Yes, they're hot screaming water inside. Burn baby, okay. So I'm gonna do my extra fifth one just in case something happens. That's what my grandmother said when she had her children. And I'm setting a timer for three minutes. You should grab a hand towel because the handle of your saute pan might be hot. See? And just take that, all of the butter. All of the butter. All of the butter into the pan. It's gonna sizzle, it should sizzle and start bubbling right away. Well! Is it sizzling? She's melting. <laughs> Okay, so not maybe not that hot. Are the bu bubbles big? Uh, she's just melting. She's just like slowly melting. She's like the okay, wicked witch her, of the west. Okay, turn her heat up a couple, couple clicks on the burner. Okay, I'm turning it up to 180. So now the goal is the butter is gonna melt. It's gonna foam. The bubbles are gonna be really big, and then when they kind of stop foaming, it's gonna turn brown, and that's actually what we want. And then you can swirl the pan, and really nothing, we're not gonna do anything until uh, it starts to brown. Okay, okay now I'm bubbling. You still have bubbling, but yeah. it's still golden. It's still golden. It's still golden. And ravioli are kind of bobbing up to the surface, maybe? Yep, all but one. Oh, like he came up! <laughs> it's time, he knows it's time for dinner. Well, what's your butter doing? Uh, she's like, she went from golden yellow to like hobo Do you see some yellow. light brown? If you tilt your pan towards you so that all the butter flows to one side, yeah. do you see some little brown bits stuck to the bottom of the pan? No. Not yet. Okay, so you're not there yet. Oh, timer, timer. Okay, I'm That's increasing fine. the heat to 250. Yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take mine off for a sec so we're at the same place. Okay. And you should be able to smell Oh, it. they're dark. They're dark. Okay, yeah. great. So that pile of sage leaves, throw those in. They're going to... Just as they are? It just as they are, and they should sizzle and curl up right away. They are. Okay, so now you've got a sage brown butter sauce, Woo! and now now scoop up your ravioli. If you can manage to get three in there. Hot fat and water. <laughs> I'm worried that they're going to stick. They're not, because just, just scooch them around, like scooch your pan back and forth. So that, are they sliding? Yeah, one of them is. One of them stuck. Oh, okay, just scooch the pan a little more. It's fine. Go underneath. Yeah. And like press okay, in this. Okay. Okay. You got it. Tragedy averted. Free. Oh, thank God. <gasps> Everything is oh, perfect. Oh no, one of mine like farted open. <laughs> okay, let's go to the plate. So take your plate, your serving plate, put mm. it next to your saute pan. Okay. I'm going to do kind of a combination. Tilt and. Tilt and slide. Delish. She looks great. Even the one that has a little split. And I'm gonna take my sage leaves and sort of have them happily here and there. And then take your lemon half and then a little squeeze of lemon because we've got like the fatty richness and the cheese and the butter. Yeah. And I feel like we need the lemon. So squeeze your lemon over. Girl, I have got a lot of blonde hair in this food. <laughs> Hashtag plated hair. Okay. All right, are your garnish? Do I, do I put it in my um, hand and turn around to you? Yeah, so we're gonna pick up our plates, okay. and on a count of three, we're gonna turn around. Can we say, okay, it's time for dinner when we turn around? Are we gonna say, okay, Caitlin, it's time for dinner? I think it's or necessary. Just, okay, one, two, three. Okay, okay Caitlin, Caitlin, time, time for, for dinner! dinner. <laughs> oh, yours are so much bigger yours than mine. Yours is very beautiful, mine though. Mine are dainty. What happened to your sauce? Uh, what, my sauce? Donde? Oh, oh, <laughs> do I put my... Yeah, I didn't a know lifting if I was, and a sliding. Just like this. Yeah, sure. So, yours looks incredible. The way that you trim to the edge of the filling is oh. nothing short of surgical. Oh yeah. Seriously. Absolutely. Like how did that even happen? There are surgeons in the family. And the the beautiful thing that you did with the sage mm -hmm. leaves and the lemon. You're welcome. <laughs> yeah. It looks incredible. Aesthetics. All right, and I'm gonna you, put a little um, pepper. All right, a little salt, if you please. And then, would you like to use, madam? Please. Dun, dun, dun. 
Thank you. You're welcome. Can I do can I do yours? Oh please. Okay. Oh, that's very nice. I'm going to stop. <laughs> Gorgeous. Oh look at that. Bon appetit. Bon appetit. I'm so great. I'm so happy. Also, your slow and steady wins the race with that brown butter. Look at the milk solids. Is that that's a good thing? So beautiful. Okay. They're perfect. Your sauce is more beautiful than mine, to be to be honest. Mmm. Mm-hmm. This is really good. I think you're an 11 now. I thought I was being audacious, but I think I'm correct. I think I'm knocked down a peg or two because of um, exploding one of my ravioli. No, but at the end of the ricotta everywhere gave it <laughs> nice texture and it, I, I think it gives it a bon appetit cover quality. I feel She's the same. She's a cover girl. I'll let you know when I have something that I want to make, I'll let you know. We can, I and can we come can back do and that? do this again. I would love that. Because there's always time for dinner, goddammit. <laughs>